The purpose of this podcast is to educate and inform. It is no substitute for professional care by your doctor or your qualified health care professional. Never disregard or delay professional medical advice because of something you've heard on this podcast or in any linked material. Guests who speak on this podcast express their own opinions, experience, and conclusions. Dr. Shirley neither endorses nor opposes any particular opinion discussed on this podcast. The views expressed on this podcast have no relation to those of any academic, hospital, practice, institution, or other entity with which Dr. Shirley may be affiliated. Welcome to Forever Fab, the podcast on fashion, the art of living, and all things beauty. This podcast is curated by Dr. Shirley Medea, MD, as the definitive source of holistic wellness through beauty. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Shirley. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Fab, a segment of the Forever Fab podcast where I review products, services, experiences, and frankly, whatever, (laughs) in 15 minutes or less. If the full-length podcast is a couture dress, for example, then 15 Minutes of Fab is like a button-down French cuff white shirt paired with leather leggings. If you don't have time to tune into the full-length podcast, then check out 15 Minutes of Fab, just a small dose. Some have considered it truth and beauty or plastic surgery secrets or as a nerdy or academic take on wellness and beauty with a dash of fashion. Consider it what you may. My aim is to engage you as a credible and authoritative voice in most, most, if not all aspects of beauty and wellness with a dash of fashion. That includes products, wellness services, technologies, innovations, new scientific research, and plastic surgery. As the founder of Holistic Plastic Surgery, my approach to beauty is through a lens of wellness that's grounded in science, backed by medical study and research, strengthened by my clinical experience, and bolstered by my surgical training with the use of principles and techniques of plastic surgery. And then there's my love of fashion. Of course, I feel uniquely qualified to talk with you about beauty, wellness, aesthetics, and plastic surgery, as well as products and services within those spaces, not only because of my extensive, and may I add expensive training and expansive background, but also because I'm one of you. Many of the human issues around aging and being being a fierce fab person, as well as an agent for positive change, I live these too, and I try. You're not alone. So together we can help the world become a more beautiful, forever fab place. So if you'll have me and give me at least 15 minutes of your time, let's get at it. In this new year, I've decided that it will be one of expansion and discovery. So I'll explore all sorts of topics, near and possibly far-fetched, while still focusing on the topics that make the forever fab podcast, well, Fabulous, namely fashion, the art of living well or wellness, and beauty. As part of my philosophy of holistic plastic surgery, which I created well over probably now 15 years ago, where I believe that beauty emanates from within, wellness plays an integral role in my practice. And this goes for many aspects of life that help you to live in grace and beauty, including nutrition, exercise, products, services, technologies, mind, body, spirit, and science. This week's episode is dedicated to self-preservation. The title of this week's episode of 15 Minutes of Fab is No is Not a Dirty Word. And the topic really is a reading of a newsletter entry by Dr. Jennifer Freed. I'm a follower of Dr. Jennifer Freed. As you know, I've mentioned her in previous episodes. You've heard me mention her before on the Forever Fab podcast, most recently on an episode of 15 Minutes of Fab about the questions for 2024's transformative self-inquiry. Dr. Jennifer Freed is mystical and magical. She's a best-selling author, a renowned psychological astrologer, and a social and emotional education trainer. Dr. Freed has penned 10 books relating to personal growth and has received epic media from the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, USA Today, Goop, Vogue, and more. I was moved recently by her most recent 
uh, or relatively current newsletter entry on the power and importance of no for self-affirmation and self-preservation. Today, I offer you this reading directly from Dr. Free's newsletter entitled, How Do You Say No? So I quote from her newsletter. I was talking with friends about how hard it is sometimes to say no to invitations and opportunities or even requests for help. If I say no, will I still be loved? If I say no, will I miss out? If I say no, will I even be asked again? If I say no, will they think I am selfish? No is such a powerful boundary statement, either keeping us locked in or freeing us from burden and overwhelm. When I say no out of fear and old beliefs, I limit my growth and learning. When I say no out of laziness, I confirm my stuckness. When I say no out of reactivity and rigidity, I calcify my inflexibility. If you ask me to try an art class and I say no because I have never been good at art, that is a stagnant no. If you say there is a fabulous art exhibit in LA, but I feel irritated by the drive, that is a resistant no. If you ask me to listen to you non-defensively about my sloppy behavior and I refuse, that is a reactive no. If you ask me to see a wild performance art concert, but I don't want to miss my mini series on TV, that is a lazy no. If you ask me to give an important talk, but I back down because I had one bad experience, that is a limiting no. Life happens when we say yes to learning, stretching, and challenging ourselves to open. We become more alive when we lean into all we can be instead of whom we used to be, and when we break the ceilings of externally imposed limitations. However, no can be the most growth-oriented word when it is said on behalf of self-love and fullness. When we are free to say a wholehearted no out of a calm and relaxed assessment of the now, then we can both be, or we can be both assertive and gentle with ourselves and others. Many people avoid saying no and instead drift off, do not respond, or make excuses, or simply disappear. When we feel entitled to our healthy boundaries, we can communicate kindly and simply. When I say no because I am full to the brim, and saturated with life, that is a self-loving no. When I say no because I will be harming my own well-being to say yes, that is a self-nurturing no. When I say no because my whole body is screaming no, that is a self-trusting no. When I say no because the timing is really off right now, that is a self-aligned no. When I say no because it is really not in my budget, that is a self-preserving no. If you ask me to come to this phenomenal party with dozens of people and I have had an extremely social or demanding week, I can say, no, thank you. I am full. If you ask me to help you with your podcast and I'm overwhelmed with my own demands and deadlines, I can say a kind, no, I'm not available to help right now. If you ask me to watch your pets while you are gone, yet I am trapped out or tapped out from my own responsibilities, I can say, no, I'm sorry, but I need to tend to things at home. If you ask me to write a blurb for your book, but I actually don't have the time or bandwidth to read your book, I can say, no, I'm sorry, I'm currently unavailable to review your material. When you ask me to come out to this new hip club with an exorbitant cover cost and I have to save money now, I can say, no, thank you, it's just not in my budget. 
Kindness is saying the full hearted no when it actually costs you energy and vitality to say yes. It is unkind to you and the recipient of that yes. Resentment is the outcome of an obligatory yet self-negating yes. You know you are bordering on a self-betraying yes when you are filled with the dread when considering the request. When I say my wholehearted no with love, it is a blessing and a healthy boundary. It also gives incredible power and truth to my whole body, yes. As a friend said the other day, she knows that when I say yes to our lunch, I come to that visit with every fiber of my being. She knows that my yes is a commitment to presence. How is no your loving gatekeeper or your prison guard these days? I am grateful to Dr. Jennifer Freed saying yes to my sharing her newsletter with you. This concludes this episode of 15 Minutes of Fab on the Forever Fab podcast. As always, stay beautiful and forever fabulous inside and out. Thank you for listening to this week's Forever Fab podcast episode of 15 Minutes of Fab. Sign up for Dr. Freed's newsletter at jenniferfreed.com. Follow Dr. Freed on social at Jennifer Freed. Did you learn something today? Share on social what resonated with you using one word and tag the Forever Fab podcast. If you like this episode of 15 Minutes of Fab on the Forever Fab podcast, please share it and subscribe to the feed. Listen to past episodes or check out who's coming up next on foreverfabpodcast.com. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Forever Fab, the podcast on fashion, the art of living, and all things beauty, curated by Dr. Shirley Madir, MD. Live beautifully and help make the world a more beautiful place.